This is complete course project. Please learn them in order. This is part 1 modeling. Okay. Before we get into the actual project, you need to set the project folder. It's really important. Go to file and choose project window and create new project. So I will choose my D drive. So you choose whatever you want. So I want to rename my project name as chips underscore advertising underscore concept ok so I will click accept so now I want to go to create panel and choose Curve tools and choose CV curve tool option box. I will choose 3 cubic. So I will close this one. I will go to front view. So in center of grid, I want to draw my cup shape over here. So I will draw over here. So use shift to draw a straight line over here. So you want to draw the cup shape. So like this, I will press enter to stop the so I will right click over here and choose control vertex so I will select this vertex and press W so you will adjust manually so if you have any problems so now I want to right click and choose object mode so I will select this object go to modeling tab so in surfaces and choose revolve option box here you want to reset your settings and click revolve so before that in sections in segments you want to give at least 12 segments and nerves and choose revolve so go to perspective so see here, here you have some troubles over here. So you want to adjust this one. So using, so select this control vertex. Right click and choose control vertex and select this one and move. So now you got that hole perfectly aligned. In Side, so I will select this control vertex and move to clear the hole manually. So now I want to right click and choose object move and I select this control vertex so only the control vertex and press delete. So now we got the cup shape so now we want to model the chips so go to create tab polygon primitives disable the interactive creation so that means when I click on poly cylinder it will automatically created in center of grid I will move in this side so press R and scale in Y So I will scale big like this. So now I want to scale in Y. So I want little bit thickness like this. So now I want to increase my subdivisions axis to 40. 
and then I want to increase my subdivision caps to 5 or 6 like this so now I want to scale little bit don't give exact cylinder over here so I want to give little bit uh, oval shape so I want to make three duplicates press ctrl D to duplicate so go to window and choose outliner so now I have poly cylinder 1 so I will rename this as uh, chips 1 so now I press ctrl D to duplicate and move in this side so in Z so now I want to rescale this object as like this so I will little bit big so now I want to duplicate again press ctrl D and move it this side so now I want to scale this one like this so the three chips will be have in different shape and different size so like this so now we want to bend our chips so I will select the first chip one so before that I want to rename the, my revolved surface one so I will rename this object as bowl 01 so now I select this chips and go to modeling tab in deformers so you want to non-linear and choose bend so now you want to give rotate z to 90 so and then go to bend one inputs so and click on the curvature and hold the middle mouse button and click and drag so see here our chips will be bent over here so give little bit bend like this so now I want to clear this history so I will select this object go to edit delete by type and choose history so that means the bend deformer will gone so now you want to make this for this object so I will select this object go to deform nonlinear and choose bend so I want to give rotate Z to 90 so and then go to bend 1 and click on this curvature and middle mouse click and drag so I want to bend little bit so now I want to use press E on keyboard so when your bend handle selected press E on keyboard so you will be bend so like this so I will bend over like this so I will rotate my objects means so the shape will be changed as different see here I will whenever I rotate in my handle so the shape will be changed like this ok so now I select this object and go to edit delete by type history so the bend deformer will gone so I want to do it same thing on this object so go to um, deformer nonlinear and choose bend so give same thing rotate z to 90 go to bend one in inputs now I want to give some curvature so in this time I will give opposite direction press E in keyboard so I will rotate my handle so it will be changes some shapes over here like this so now I want to select this object go to edit delete by type and choose history 
so now I want to see here here we have some problems over here because I have some small hole over here so right click and choose control vertex so I will select this control vertex and press R and scale in mid so you want to view little bit closer so I will zoom in I will view the hole you want to scale it very closer so like this right click and choose object mode so now the hole will not be shown on both sides so now uh, so this is our end of our modeling so now we want to texture in next part click the button to learn part 2 texturing